Say hello to everyone. Hello. Caleb, how old are you? Three. What's an if statement? A rule. A rule? What happens if the rule is true? Um, you can do it. And what happens if it isn't true? You can't. Because, because, because of when you said you kill, you kill mommy and daddy or your teachers in nursery. <laughs> Stay tuned to find out how I managed to teach him about if statements. Well done. I just find you up. Okay. okay. Welcome everyone to the first episode of Coding with Kids. In this series, you'll learn coding fundamentals and how to integrate this in everyday conversations with the little ones. On each episode, I'll be demonstrating this on my own three-year-old and how you can apply this at home without any computers or fancy software. In each episode, we'll be covering the following. One, the code fundamental. Two, the real world examples of these fundamentals. Three, the benefits of these fundamentals. Four, how to teach your kids. Five, the things to look out for. So let's get started with if statements. If statements are logic which wraps blocks of code. These wrappers are actually called logic gates. If the condition inside of the if statement is true, the code inside is allowed to execute and if it's false the code is skipped it's that simple so when coding large enterprise software you would use if statements to back out of a user flow to check if the conditions have been met before any code gets run for example when you're logging in you need two things the username and the password if the user has not submitted the username or the password, the login process will not be executed. So how can we use a real world example? Well, if it's not raining, don't bring the umbrella. Why? Because it's gonna take up space in your bag. There's no need for it. This is exactly the same concept as coding. So how can we translate this to children? Well, this is a very important lesson. For them to understand boundaries and rules, for conditions on scenarios or situations will allow them to improve on discipline and focus. Every time you set a boundary or rule for the child, you are actually creating if statements. If it is playtime, go and play. If it is dinner time, sit down on the table and eat. If it is bedtime, wind down and get ready for bed. In this example, the condition which has to satisfy the if statement is the type of time it is for them, playtime, dinner time, or bedtime. The code to run in that statement is the type of activities they'll do, play, eat, or sleep. So how can we teach this to kids? For this to work, you need to leverage something they find fun and leverage something that you want them to pick up a new skill. For Caleb, it's spelling and reading. Therefore, I'm using a toy that he already has around spelling and reading. This is a very simple game. You put the cards in the slot. So if you don't have this toy and you do want to follow the example, I'll leave a link in the description below. And you spell out the word using blocks and place them in the allocated spaces. So this is the most important bit. You need to find something that they find fun and incorporating that into the game. For Caleb, it's construction vehicles. Just a basic skip, but it's big enough to put blocks of lettuce in. See where I'm going with this? So now Caleb's gonna drive around the table using the blocks, putting, in, putting them in the skip, and they can only go into the allocated slot in the correct order. <coughs> so this is the most important part of the exercise. You have to keep iterating over the reason of the if statement, the rules and boundaries. Why? Because we want to make sure that you understand and conform to the rules of the game. So how can we do this? We can do this by making sure that the letters are in order and throwing a curveball every now and then. For example, if the word is egg, you ask him to put the G on the slot. And if he says no, because the first letter needs to be an E, he understands that the rules requires the letters to go in order and that's a pass. So in code, this will be 
uh, a feature test where you're testing each feature of the game. Things to look out for, are they following within the rules and boundaries of the game? Are you challenging them and are they challenging you back with the correct rules? That is what you want to do. Here's a bonus tip. Every time they touch a letter, get them to sound out that letter. That way the correlation between letter and sound and sound and word all makes sense throughout the exercise. So this is how we got along. Caleb, can you drive the dump truck yeah. to find the letters? Where's your dump truck? Oh, it is on the dump truck. Okay. The okay. rules. So, Mr. Driver, can you please find me the letter? Well, what's the first letter? S. S. Who's on this one? Okay. Not this one. So this is great because it okay. they practice the hand and eye coordination and also the letters are upside down. Oh. Okay. Oh, I just can carry two blocks. Okay, so now he's introducing a new rule where the skip can carry two blocks. Is it two blocks left? Yeah. Okay, so the if statement here is if there's space inside of the skip, you can load it up. So Caleb just introduced his own one. So Caleb, can I put all of this inside? No. Why not? Because there's, there, uh, there's no space. Great. So when, you have, when he introduces a new rule, challenge it to push it to the boundaries. As you can see, I, I asked Caleb if I, can put, if I could put all of these boxes inside. And he said no, because there's no space. So the if statement stands true. So if there's space, put a block in. If there's no space, you're not allowed to. So he just created his own if statement. Great. So Caleb, what's the next letter? Um, C. C. So when you load it, it, when you load it into the skip, can you make the sound? K. Good job. So this is great. You fully understand the concept of if statement. So now let's let's open the boundaries beyond this game. Caleb, are you allowed to play when it's bedtime? No. No, why not? Tidy up. Tidy up and then? And then go upstairs and go upstairs and go upstairs and go upstairs. So this is great. So now he understands the boundaries of rules. And as you can just, uh, as you just heard, he said, um, no, there's no playing in bedtime. So now this is four. This is great for obedience and focus. So now he's focused on the task because he's confined to the rule, but also breaking, breaking boundaries and enhancing. So he's progressing. This is great. Okay. If you enjoyed this content, give us a thumbs up by clicking on the like button below. Leave us a comment if you have any tips, advice or requests. I'll be making more of these videos about coding fundamentals, such as functions, switch statements, interface, and inheritance. So subscribe now to never miss one.